Hey everyone, preseason is finally sort of over. 9.1 is dropping right now, and then with 9.2 in about two weeks' time, ranked should reset and season 9 will actually start. We also have a first look at what they're working on for 9.2, though, and remember these would hit at the start of ranked as well. So we're looking at buffs to Aurelian Soul and to Nico for our like kind of mid lane champions, and it seems to be a bit more top lane focused actually with our Renekton, Mundo, Shen, Yorick, and also Sunfire Cape. Jarvan, Shivana, and also Volibear are thrown in as kind of the junglers for the patch but if you have a look that's actually a lot of tanks and beefy champions getting buffed there are going to be way more nerfs though so they're looking at like galio uh, cassiopeia cassidin and irelia i think for kind of like the mid lane champions zyra brand and rakan are going to be the supports which is no real surprise really like zyra and brand especially are just crazy high damage at the moment then we've got aatrox we've got ergot we've got Jax as well for the top lane and camille as a jungler there are actually going to be two items as well they're looking at to nerf a 9.2 the oblivion orb so the magic pen from the morello and also the relic shield as well as all that stuff there are a few bigger things so like reducing damage in the game are they going to have a big look at this so probably like runes and summoners and stuff like that not individual champions but things they can reduce for everybody they're also going to slightly lower the jungle influence in the game which i'm sure a lot of people will be happy about so last time they reduced um, how early and how much people could gank so i'm guessing that's probably the kind of route they'll go again and also then the marksman item so the crit stuff that we looked at the other week is also still on the table and and being worked on we're probably going to look at that properly like next week when we know what the changes are actually going to be but um i hope you enjoyed that little look into 9.2 and for now let's jump back into 9.1 starting with the stuff that i think uh, you need to know and you're seeing your games way more starting from tomorrow along with a lot of vein bands probably that is purely because of this buff your q cooldown is going to be reduced while your ultimate is active reduced by 50 percent you don't really need me to tell you that that is going to be a massive buff to a mid to late game at uh, team fighting especially but remember the cooldown doesn't actually start until after you have attacked after you tumble so it's not quite as nutty as it first looks at first glance um, but it is still a stain though like as long as you're not just using it to reposition and run away if you're going to use it more um it's more damage it's more stealth it's better kiting more healing more safety and more potential for a few more plays this easily gets down to like a uh, kind of one to two second cooldown really once it's maxed out actually but in my opinion it's probably still better to max your w first and then go into your q afterwards if you remember a while ago uh, your W, your Silver Bolts, was buffed when you get it to rank 5. So you do want to max it out as soon as possible. And with this change, you'll go into team fights with 5 points in the Silver Bolts, uh, which is crazy damage. And then a lower cooldown on the tumble than last patch, thanks to the buff. It's actually probably like a bigger buff when it's like a higher uh, cooldown, if that makes sense. But when you get it to like mid to late game team fights and it's max your Q and your W together, it's pretty insane. I wonder as well if uh, she's going to be able to use Halo Blades. So this is getting the attack speed bonus higher early, but then lower late game. It's actually going to be 110% attack speed from 75 to 125 percent so it is worse late by so much better early and attack resets no longer consume a stack like Jax's w or darius's w in my opinion this might actually be the second biggest uh, change of the entire patch and we might finally see this on a few champions it's kind of been like a dead rune since it was made this is for champions who want to burst but they want to use attack speed and auto attacks normally to do their damage which is a bit of a weird mix those champions normally would have wanted attack speed from their runes as well uh, for the stats so they went precision before like earlier in the season but now the stat bonuses are in these shards right so it's more viable to swap over you can still have the attack speed if you want to and you can move into domination at the same time there are a lot of different champions that have auto resets in the game actually who could in theory use it a bit more um, and have like a better start to a fight it's like you burst right at the start or ramp up a bit quicker i guess if you're using a rage bait it's actually pretty cool because you can get like more stacks a lot earlier uh jackson darius could use it i think uh, but we also could see it on a few ad carries like maybe a varus or a vein maybe a Callista, maybe a cogma but also junglers like a Marcy, uh, maybe even a Graves as well. Let's have a look at the Nasus buff. So his Q stacks from large kills have been increased. So champions, large minions, large monsters grant 12 instead of 6 stacks. Now in my last video, this caused a bit of a stir actually in the comments because Riot say it's not that bad at all at lower ranks when on average the players should miss more CS anyway so they won't get as many stacks. I don't really think that makes as much sense personally but a lot of you actually thought it did make sense so this might be a change that looks insane but it's kind of like okay on live servers. I am telling you though, the one thing you have to watch out for is a lot of people have been playing jungle nasus on the pv with these and get some insane stacks out of it and it kind of accelerates it way too quickly it will definitely help uh, nasus scale in the game though and if you like playing him it's a really good buff especially mid game where cannon minions spawn a lot more often now so it might not change like his early ish kind of phase but like mid game onwards you should stack a lot faster and it might turn it into more of a like you need to beat him early in lane or there is way more chance he's gonna stack and be a huge issue
I'm really happy with this one. I cannot wait to test this out, and I really hope it's good. But Callista is getting a bunch of stuff. So, like, base AD, AD growth, attack speed growth have all been increased. Your W O Sworn AD bonus has been removed from it. That's kind of where the base is coming from. And then your Q damage has been increased, and your E, your Ren, deals less damage to epic monsters. The best part about this is she's not really going to be as team reliant, which I think is partly why we barely see her right now. So, actually, people might start to play her more. She isn't really straightforward to play, though. That's also a problem. And mostly because all her damage is really in those Ren stats. Stacks, right and you have to judge yourself whether you have enough stacks or not to kill somebody it's really punishing like if you press e too early it means you're probably gonna die instead and i think that system is really hard to play around in the current state and it makes learning her much harder as well it obviously scales really well with uh, how good you are as a player. But anyway, this is a really good buff to a lane phase. More AD. The Q damage is double to start the game. Yes, it does only 10 damage, but I think I'll take it at this point. Attack speed per level being buffed as well will make her feel better and hop around a bit more smoothly, hopefully. Um, but that should make her mid game a little bit stronger as well. Now, these Orna Sejuani changes will also make them see more play, I think. They're definitely going to feel pretty different, and they're kind of actually like small gameplay updates. Orn's base durability has been increased, and Orn's items now upgrade at level 13 up to. To a maximum of two he can upgrade one allies item per level at level 14 plus and um, we have more upgrades added so iceborn yumu's bather and king and ludens can now be upgraded as well your q cost damage and slow has been decreased uh, your w doesn't shield anymore but it makes on unstoppable and your ultimate slow and knock up have been decreased that is a lot of stuff um, but right now the current issues in right eyes are going to be like when he's meta he can't really be beaten in lane he's too safe a pick every single game and every game he's going to be able to help at the very least by pressing r if you you probably look at these changes on the patch notes they're basically reducing all of his personal power as a champion so you won't be able to fight as easily and his engage as well will be worse the trade-off is the better passive giving thousands of gold worth of stats to his team for absolutely free which is so good i think it actually makes on like almost like a nasus or a vigar in a kind of weird way if you let the game go late into like level 16 plus and stuff the on will make his team way stronger than before on can have two upgrades as we said right by the way which makes him stronger himself in that way but with the four new items as well, it's really unlikely that somebody won't have an item for him to forge a little bit later. So I'd expect to see him more top, maybe even support, and maybe even jungle. For Sejuani, her base durability is going up a little bit. Her passive is going to grant fewer stats, but it lasts a little bit longer. But then your Q, W, and E damage has all been increased. If somebody doesn't whip out AP Sejuani after all of this stuff, I'm going to be really sad, by the way. But the whole point of these changes are to increase her damage output, but make her less tanky. So she can actually carry games a little bit more herself. Now, when you dive in and you engage, you can actually be the follow-up to that as well. It means like taking Red Smite and Dueling is way more viable, and it should make her a bit better in this current meta. Her passive is a lot lot weaker now though like the base is going to be down as well but it's actually scaling off bonus um armor and magic resist instead of total so it's a low percentage and it's just bonus stuff from items and runes which is a lot worse it does last for longer but it's not going to block anywhere near as much damage anymore when she dives into a fight and even though her w damage is up to compensate the swing part and stuff it's the stun the e that you have to watch out for that is only a second stun now so that's lower but the damage is over doubled up to 200 so you shouldn't be surprised if she starts to beat you down after this patch the last champion change that might make a fairly big difference is actually to Jinx. So her W cast time now scales with attack speed. Uh, the cast time is 0.6 to 0.4 and it includes the bonus from your Q minigun. The last time we ever had something similar, slightly similar to this was to Lucian, where his Q animation got shorter with level. This is a bit different obviously, but it basically means that in team fights you can actually use your zap a lot more to slow and do damage. And I think it will make her a bit better. When you have a lot of damage in your auto attacks as an AD carry, stopping to cast, it just feels really bad. Plus, if nothing else, it actually self-stuns for the cast duration as well. It'd be kind of cool to see how this works. And if it does well, I really like it if Riot did this for other ADs as well. Hopefully, they will. And we can use more abilities as well as autos. So turrets are going to work a little bit different with the gold as well. So the local gold proximity radius on turret takedown has been increased. And additional radius for assists have been added. The idea is that if you help to get a turret, then most of the time, you should also get some gold for that, even if you're not directly next to it when it goes down. That is the other thing as well. Funnel is going to be dead. So an unenchanted jungle item reduces the gold received from minions if their owner has too much minion gold first off this is only until you complete the jungle item there are ways around this if you really wanted to do it but probably it's not going to be worth at least it's going to reduce the gold earned by 10 per minion if their owner's gold from minions is greater than half of their gold from monsters it's not as bad as before when we had the final penalty so as a jungler doing normal stuff it should be perfectly fine 
We do also have some smaller changes as well. So a uh, Sivir is going to have champion hits don't reduce her Q's damage. Still reduced if it hits minions though. So it's not that great a change. Just in a team fight, it might be a little bit more damage if you hit more than one. Ash's E is now going to grant assists if enemies were previously unseen as well. They have to be killed though within 10 seconds. So it's a pretty small window actually. It might mean that Ash gets a little bit more gold for herself. And I don't even think she's that bad at the moment anyway. She's definitely playable and definitely kind of good. Zyra is also getting her E root duration increase. It's now 1.25 from one second. So she's going to hold them in place a little bit longer to batter them or set up plays. And 1.25 seconds is actually not that bad at all. It's still pretty tough to learn Zyra for a new player though. And there's a huge difference between that starting point and when you main her as well. But even then, it's not really quite where it needs to be in my opinion. So a couple of rude things to keep in mind as well. Uh, the attack speed shard now gives you 1% more attack speed. You're probably not going to make you take that over something else. But if you do take it, you've just got a little bit of a buff. Celerity is also getting the move speed bonus um, up to 10% from 8. And it's pretty good on a few particular champions. Champions, apparently Riot mentioned Hecarim, uh, Siva, Aurelian Soul as well, and some others that it works really well on. So it's kind of just like a nudge to take it over the damage option. And then finally, Shield Bash as well. Uh, damage has been increased. So on tanks, apparently, it's actually a pretty good choice already, according to Riot, since it has the scaling on there. But by buffing the base, they want other champions that don't build health to take it. This could actually be a pretty cool rune if it was good enough to take when paired with like a Lulu or a Janna or something bot lane. But I'm not sure it's really at that level and it's not really worth it yet. So that is a little look into 9.2 and also all the changes coming in 9.1. Thank you for watching the video until the very end. Make sure to let me know what you think of the changes down below. But as always, for now, I'll leave you with the robots.